Hey friends, welcome to Gardening with Creekside and this week we are going to do our nursery tour in just a minute. But first we're going to give you an update here at production with the new greenhouses. We have had some folks being like, how's the greenhouse coming? Well, here we are. We're going to give you an update on how things are doing. We got the greenhouse. We got the equipment. I mean, y'all, <laughs> it's a three ring circus around here and uh, Jerry and Andrew and Jackson have been working this week getting some of the infrastructure in and then I've been busy doing different projects so we've been kind of divided so what we're going to do today is like I said we're going to give you an update here at the greenhouse show you um, explain what the fellows have been working on here and then we're going to head down to the nursery because we have got some great specials for you here at the garden center um, this is of course for the, this is the Super Arch Greenhouse. It's a gutter connected greenhouse from Atlas Greenhouses in Georgia. That is where we get all of our greenhouse structures from. They are fantastic. If you're in the market for a greenhouse, whether it is um, like a small hobby greenhouse at your home or if you are in production commercial side like us, then they can take care of you. Just give them a call. They'll, uh, they'll help you out and that's what they do for us. Jerry calls Heath and he's like, okay, this is what I need the greenhouse to be. And then they work it out together. But this super arch is a what we call that gutter connected greenhouse, right? So when you go to these massive production facilities, they have gutter connected because it's very easy to add other greenhouses on. Now for us, because of our, the lay of our land, we will not expand these greenhouses, but gutter connected. There's rain gutters between each one, so you can connect the greenhouses next door to each other. Now, um, this has been a whole process. If you are new to the whole process, I do have a playlist for this whole um, project, so you can check that out. I'll have it linked above and in the video description. But the reason that we have built this greenhouse, it is a 90 foot by 96 foot. So it is a lot of growing space. This one facility is more growing space than all of our current greenhouses put together. So we are more than doubling our green growing space here at Creekside Nursery. Well, why in the world do we need to have the new production greenhouses? Well, we're doing it because of you sweet people. You are just amazing customers, both here at the local garden center where you come and you travel from all over the country to get our plants and because of the online store, right? So we have launched that online store this fall with our shrubs. And then in the spring, we will be shipping out annuals, perennials and shrubs all across the country. And we have been doing pre-orders for those annuals and the perennials. And y'all are taking full advantage of that and you are gobbling them up. And which is wonderful because we, we are telling you and we tell, we have always done this on our videos. This is not a sales tactic. This is one gardener trying to help out another gardener in the fact of if you want these new introductions, right? Or if you want a specific variety um, or plant of an annual, if you want that super bean of pink cashmere, which is like the hot ticket for next year go ahead and pre-order it that way you lock in your order you're guaranteed to get it we will not ship them to you until it is appropriate for your growing zone so if you're ordering annuals and perennials right now we're not shipping them to you now we don't even have the plants right now <laughs> we got to grow them first y'all yeah, um, there's there's nothing in the greenhouse there's nothing in the greenhouse right i mean you can <laughs> see it's empty. I got nothing to send you. Nothing but best wishes of Merry Christmas. So just know that if you're going on the website gardeningwithcreekside.com and you're ordering annuals and perennials, don't fret my pet. It is not going to ship until it is appropriate for your growing zone. Because we because we did a pre-order. We did a pre-order back in October of our liners. That's the rooted cutting that comes mm -hmm. from, you know, Pleasant View Gardens or four star yes, greenhouses, right? Yes, which they're, they're getting from their cutting farms where the right. mother plant is and that all that. So there's a certain amount and now there's a certain amount that is still there available. So every time we try to, and that's why it's important for the pre-order, is that we're able to then reload right if it's available right so for example like the pink cashmere we knew this was going to be a hot ticket item so as it is selling like crazy here on Garney with Creekside we're ordering more from from Pleasant View Gardens so but at some point 
that supply is going to run out uh, both from us and from Pleasant View. So we want to make sure that we have enough for you and that you get what you want. Because you, yeah, can you absolutely come on the website in April and order it? Yes, if it's still in stock, because there's going to be a point at some point in the growing season where we can't even get more plants. So just keep that in mind. And that's why the pre-order is so important. And if you go to um, our website, there will be if this is the first time you're going there it'll have a pop-up that will come on gardeningcreekside.com it'll pop up and it'll say hey if you want to join our mailing list with emails or text sign up and you get a coupon so, you so can it, it and then the thing is with that folks is that it knows you've been there right so, so if you, technology is smart if you've been there and you've bought stuff and you signed up it's not going to give you another code. No, no, it's We've not. We've had this is, that happening. Yes, this is a one and yeah, done, yeah, right? Yeah. So this is so you can't you can't try to fake out the system. I'm sorry, technology is too smart. <laughs> not that they everybody's know, doing that, but no, it no, has no. happened. It has happened. Just know yeah, that yeah. when you go for your first time and you sign up for the very first time, you're going to get a coupon code for either 15 or 20 percent off, depending if you're doing email or texting. And we're not spamming you. Like we are not going to go out there. We're not going to send you emails all the time it is annoying I and know. most of the emails that are coming to everyone they're informational they're informational mm -hmm. for you and it is the, to relate you back to what Jenny is talking about with mm -hmm. the plants and the highlighting the plants or ta you know even like the the videos themselves where we were giving you some education so it's a way for us to right. communicate that in a different way other than just a YouTube notification right right so, Which we all know messes up, you know, and that's why we have to keep asking everybody to resubscribe because they, you know, it comes off. You we're know. not unsubscribing you, trust me. <laughs> that's the last thing we want. So, um, so just know, go to gardeningwithcreekside.com. But so now let's get into the nitty gritty about the greenhouse. Obviously, Jerry is mic'd up because he is the uh, technical guru, and so he was the one that was up here. But basically, what it was last Saturday that the gas company came and they installed the tank and they hooked up all three heaters because each greenhouse, there's three greenhouses in this gutter connected greenhouse. Um, it acts like a one massive one, but there are three different houses. So each house has its heater. And um, we're walking here to the back so that you can see that. So the gas company comes out, they bring this lovely massive tank that uh, fills up. This is propane. Propane. It is propane. A thousand propane. gallon. It is how much? A thousand. A thousand. So it is a thousand gallon tank and it is propane. It is not natural gas. So they come out. It's really smart. There's like a sensor on it. So the gas company actually knows when it's starting to run low and they just come on out and fill it up and top it off for us. But you can see um, here on the backside of the greenhouse, they look like little mini chimneys. Those are from the heaters, right? So that's the exhaust pipes from the heaters. So they come out away from the greenhouse and can um, release any whatever it is that they release. I don't know, exhaust. Yeah. Yeah, exhaust. Okay. Really technical around here. Um, yeah, so the heaters are on the other side. So then got that hooked up. So that was step one. Step two is electrical and plumbing. And mm -hmm. you were trenching this week, yes? Yes, we trenched um, a good bit and got so that available for it to, to be put in. So, the, so where did you trench? Hmm? Where did you trench? Right there. So right where the rough, rough yeah. soil is? Yeah, it's all done. So it's all done. So in here is electrical and plumbing? Electrical, plumbing, and an internet wire. Oh, yes, and an internet wire because, you know, <laughs> got to have good internet. So as you can see right here, so this path, basically down where you can see where it's nice and the soil is raised up and disturbed. In that same trench is the electrical, the plumbing, and the internet wire that all then connects back to the main hub because yeah. we have our main electrical panel. Here we have um, the fertigation system are in these greenhouses because as of right now, we're just gonna run the fertigation from there. For, from mm -hmm. there. So fertigation is, um, it's a combination of fertilizer and irrigation. So because we are growing annuals and they tend to be quite heavy feeders, we need a way to feed them, right, the most efficiently. So the most efficient, effective way to do that quickly is through a liquid fertilizer. So your 
production greenhouses have fertigation systems. So basically what it does is it takes a concentrated fertilizer and mixes it with the water at a ratio that you determine. And then when you're running your hoses, your wands, your whatever kind of irrigation you have, that is fertilizer water going out. Obviously, you can turn that off and just run clear water. Um, but yes, yeah, so the fertigation system is all located in these two production greenhouses that will then connect to the new production greenhouse. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, we're going to have, I think, two spigots in there for the fertigation, which then will allow us to do all three bays. Mm -hmm. Um, just because of the way we're going to place them in So there. let's go down here and, and look at this. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking that, well, you haven't talked to you about this, but... <laughs> it's new to both of us, y'all. Yes, it's new. Me and Andrew were down here talking about it. Uh-huh. Is that we're going to bring the water in. We have three, mm -hmm. we have quite a number of conduits underneath yes. the sidewalks. So we can come down here and let's notice the gas is in here. Yeah. So we can run, um, you know, so see like right here. So when before they poured yeah, the concrete, yeah, yeah. yeah, before they poured the concrete, Jerry put, this is what, a six inch? Yeah. A six inch slick PVC pipe. Um, and there's three or four of them. There's quite a few of them. There's quite a few of them that run from the outside. And then you can see where the hole is yeah. in the greenhouse. Yeah. Um, so it runs under. So we can run, like they ran the gas quite easily through there. They'll run uh, the electrical through there. Like everything just goes through nice and easy. So that way you don't have to, we're not digging things up. So you can see right here's the gas that came through yeah. um, and will go up. Right. So. Things as far as electrical, because there's a lot of items that need to be hooked up to electricity. So. Yeah, it's a lot of work. A lot of work. And it's a lot of logistics and trying to make sure that everybody's on the right switch, the right circuit, the blah, 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 yep. blah, blah. So first and foremost, obviously you need lights, right? So we'll have lights in here, probably the same LED lights that we have in retail. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So nice and bright. Um, the You will see the fans that are hanging. These are called circulation fans. And you will notice that they're they're spaced out. They're not on the same um, purlin or the same support. And they are facing opposite directions because they are circulation. We want from these heaters, the air to circulate in the greenhouse. And so they're kind of slanted down a little bit. You know, yeah, because you can yeah. tilt them at different angles um, because we don't because if you don't have the circulation fans, you will have a hot spot and cold spots in the greenhouse. And we need that warm air to circulate around yeah, really heat well. Heat rises. Heat rises. And so or somebody told me it's not heat rises, it's cold air sinks. Well, either Whatever. One, it doesn't either matter. way, it doesn't matter. It still does that. So but back over here, though, yes. what we were talking about yes. was that the water. So what I'm thinking about, instead of having a, a like a pipe coming out of the ground right here in this corner, sure. is that we're, we're going to put a one down in the ground, a spigot inside the ground. So you yes. hook your hose up down here in this corner. Yes, because the last thing we want, just back up, yeah. the last thing we want is to have a big pipe sticking up right yeah, here because right. it's, it's going to get hit. It, it, I'm telling you, it's going to get hit. It's going to get broken off in some shape or fashion. So and so to have it down like low. One right there mm -hmm. and then one on the other side over the far corner. Yep. So that way you, you can, um, you can do that bay, this bay, and that one can also do the concrete. Sure. Absolutely. Cause they just get a, you know, a longer hose or whatever. Right, 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 right. So uh, yeah. circulation fans, then the shutters also. So you will see on the front side um, up there, that silver square uh, right above the door, that is a shutter. And so it will, when the, um, come over here behind, right above Jerry's head, these are the um, exhaust fans. What are you, is yep. that what they're called? Mm -hmm. um, so there's three of them, exhaust fans. And you can see that there's a, I don't know if you can see, there's a plug in there that's got a, Got to connect to something. Um, so this is what happens when the greenhouse gets too warm. And so those will automatically cut on from the thermostat. So they kick on and basically they suck out the hot air. So as soon as that fan cuts on, that shutter opens at the exact same time. It sucks out the hot air, greenhouse cools down, fans shut off, shutters close, boom. So that is off. And then, um, then of course we have the air pumps. So you will see up there in the corner, that little black, circular item up there 
that is the air pump and that is what inflates the roof. So each three of the houses has those little pumps. Um, because this is a double layer of polyplastic, it does it for insulation. So we pump it full of air so it's nice and tight. And just like what those houses um, are over there, it gives it a nice round. So it insulates it and so those have got to run and then of course just anything electrical because we've got to put had the potty machine in here so that will need electricity so there's tons and tons of logistics and figuring out exactly you're anticipating your needs what do you need what are you going to need really we've got to put that all in that's place like um and i think petunias are going to grow real well in here yeah and you know, super bells super bells you know all the really cool. cool area ones i think they'll do super well in this area you just, mean the you know, super tunias and the super, super bells are going to do super well in here yeah, they're going to do superly well so this is the super arch right super arch <laughs> yeah all the supers are with this the super. is the super house y'all <laughs> there we go yeah. all right and then of course also i forgot too to say that electrical for the um the walls because you can see yeah. that all the walls that are open um they are those curtains that roll up and down depending on the thermostat and what yeah, we those, have it set. Those motors that are um, that run those things, I yeah. think they're made in Italy. They're right over here. Let's yeah. show the let's yeah. show the people what it looks like. Yeah. So each of the curtains has um, a motor on it. Yeah. And of course they're they're up right now. Um, but we have to hook hook all that up. Yeah. But Big They've shout out to the Italians. Pre-adjusted. There's another one right here. Right there. Yep. And you you have little knobs on there where you adjust your height and your um, where it knows when to stop. But it, it, as the years go along or even the season, sometimes you have to readjust. You do. You, you do. Know. But yeah. So nobody's plugged in yet. So we've got it. <laughs> we got to get this up and running and get everybody charged in. So that's kind of an update here at production. Now let's run down to the retail greenhouse and share with you all of the great specials that we have at the nursery for you. Here we are down at the garden center because we have got some great specials going on until we close, right? We only have three more days that the retail portion of Creekside Nursery is going to be open. We have no, four days, sorry, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Our last day is this Saturday, December the 16th. If you're in the area and you want to stop by, we would love to see you from nine to three, right? And then this Saturday, our final day of the season, we do have that power planner auger workshop. It is completely free. It is from 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. We have a Facebook event page that you can go and sign up for it just so we can kind of have a rough idea of how many people are going to come. But at this event, you're going to be able to uh, see, touch, feel all the things with the power planter augers. We will give them to you and let you hold them and let you drill some holes so that way you can get a feel for them. We will have at this workshop Jenny's auger. Remember, we have partnered with power planter to come up with um, the best auger for me and our environment to drill some great holes. So we have, this is a really nice comparison because you can see this is Jenny's auger and then we have the power planter, the traditional five inch auger. Now, so we're gonna kind of walk through because I want you to see the difference. Um, one, of course, you're gonna notice the color difference, right? So Jenny's, this is the limited edition in pink. Now, if you don't like pink, no worries. You can get it in lime green, the exact auger, but in lime green. So you can go to our website and you can order that. Um, but you can notice too, the first things off the, off the bat is that Jenny's auger is taller. So these are propped up exactly at the same like level. So you can see that my auger is taller. That way, when I am drilling holes, it just, just that little bit, I don't know, it's maybe like what, six, six inches, eight inches difference that's less that you have to bend down. And when you're drilling a ton of holes with this five inch, it's perfect for um, grandes or quart size containers, one gallons, it just saves your back. So there is a little bit higher. Also, you'll notice that the flighting, flighting is what we call the spirals, right? Mine has less. And so what is the purpose of that? Well, it makes it lighter because this is the whole augers are 
great steel, American made steel. And even just having that much more flighting on it makes it heavier. Even though this is taller, this weighs more. So it saves your back. And then of course, both of them do have that heavy duty tip. We have thick clay soil. So this is the heavy duty tip part. Traditional five inch auger or the non heavy duty augers will end right here or start right here rather. It will not have this part on there. This is what makes a difference in our clay soil because it basically does like a pilot hole and allows for the rest of the auger to go in. We do have um, three of the pink, the limited edition here at the nursery. Now, if you're wanna order online, we got plenty, right? So you can go to gardeningwithcreekside.com and order either the pink or the green, not a problem. But if you're coming here to the nursery and you wanna take one home with you, we have three left here at the nursery. So if you're interested and you wanna, like I said, take it home with you, let us know, either call the nursery or you can do orders at gardeningwithcreekside.com and say, hey, I'm coming to the workshop or I'm coming to the nursery this week. I wanna go ahead and prepay for my limited edition auger. We will save it for you and not a problem, um, but yeah. And it's really fun because Greg and the power planner team even did a special box for us. We had the special sticker on there. So really, really fun. And uh, like you, you can see, we've got three of them left right here for us here at the nursery. So power planner workshop, December the 16th, 16th from 10 to 11 here at the nursery. Um, another fun special that we had, you'll notice that I am wearing my Felco hat today. One, it is Christmas, nice bright red but also um, the Felco products. So if you are coming to the nursery and you are going to, with every purchase of a clipper, you get a free hat. Why not, right? It's Christmas, let's just spread the Felco love because y'all know that I do enjoy a good hat. I garden all the time with hats because I just cannot handle having hair in my face when I garden. So these Felco hats are wonderful. They're bright red. <laughs> you will not get lost in the garden, but with every purchase of a hand pruner here at the garden center. This is a in-store special only. I'm going to repeat that one more time. This is an in-store special only that when you buy a hand pruner, you get a hat for free. But of course, we've got all the different sizes. We've got the ever popular Felco 2, 8, 6, and 14. So the difference is really in some of these is like the ergonomics of how you, um, how it feels in your hand. It is not the power of the pruner or that, you know, one is better than the other. Absolutely not. Um, it really is about how the, the clippers, the handles fit in your hand. And the great thing is when you, I love this about Felco, is that you can easily come get it off and this just slides right out so you can put this in your hand and feel it like you can you can use before you try basically right so you can see how it fits in your hand and you can go through i don't it doesn't bother us one bit if you sit here and open up all the different ones to really feel you know what's the difference between a 14 and a 6 and how it feels in your hand get the one that feels best for you right it's not what i use it's what feels best for you and then and then jerry wants to say something yeah because I, I had to need a clipper the other day mm -hmm. and randy carries the 14 the small one yeah 14. you know and, uh -huh. and whatever i was clipping it was like i had more strength yeah just because my hand's bigger right like i, I cut like right through it Mm -hmm. Like it was, yeah, it, w it was just as strong, or big, but, but I guess maybe because I could just grab a, my hand, just swallow those handles up. Yeah, so it's not that, you know, like again, one's better than the other, absolutely not. It's just how it fits in yeah. your hand because we're all unique and we're made differently. And what fits in my hand is different for Jerry and Jerry's different than CC and so forth and so on. And then of course we have the cleaning products. Y'all literally before we came down here, I took my clippers, I took my 905s, and I gave them a little sharpen, actually first. What I did first, because we were, uh, Mimi and I were in the garden yesterday, so I took my 981. This is kind of the, um, the degreaser, like it cleans, like it takes all the gunk off your, your pruners. This is a very technical term here. So I cleaned my pruners first, right? Just spray it on, and then I wiped it off really good with a paper towel. Then I took my 905 and I sharpened my blade a little bit, because, you know, keep it nice and sharp. And then I came back through 
and um, then I went ahead and greased it up just a little bit with a 990 just on those joints just to make sure because it keeps it waterproof and keeps it from rusting. So these are all things that we use on a regular basis to maintain these Felcos because if we maintain them, they literally will last an entire lifetime. And then of course the gloves. Um, you know that I'm a huge glove person and we have the gloves that I have traditionally used right here. And then I started using the Felcos and oh my gosh, y'all, I'm telling you, I really do like them. I personally am a size medium because I can wear small, but they're really snug and I don't like that kind of constriction on my hands. So I wear a medium, but we have them all the way from small to extra large. Just throwing that out there for you, right? So every in-store purchase of a pruner gets a hat for free. And then of course we have the merchandise, right? So you can go on both here at the nursery and the website and order these. If you order them quickly, we will, like you order it, we ship it the exact same day. Cause I know that some of you are doing these for Christmas presents and we are getting them out as soon as like literally we hear the notification and we're boxing them up. So just know that we are doing everything on our end um, to get them out to you ASAP. So if you place an order and you maybe you mess up on that order, uh, <laughs> it's probably gonna be too late to fix it because it's already out the door. Like we're, we are Johnny on the spot and very efficient. So we've got, of course, the t-shirts, we've got the sweatshirts, we've got the hats, all of those great things coming to you. And then for our people who are in store, we have got some great birdhouses. Um, for the rest of the season. So this is gonna be, if you have that gardener and you're like, I don't know what to get them. Um, the birdhouses are wonderful. They are beautiful and they are functional. The birds love these. These are uh, from a family company, Hartwood in Star, Mississippi. They are handmade. They are made out of cypress and cedar. They are meant to go outside. They are meant to be used. Um, we even have some bat boxes. That's what these are like some bat houses. So of course we want to have bats in our yard because they eat so many mosquitoes. So I love these bat houses. And so you can have do those. And then of course, all the beautiful different kind of um, decorative houses that you can either, some of them will hang, like this one will hang. Some of them will go on a pole, right? And then some of them, like this cute little rent house, like you could hang on a fence post or you could hang on a tree or the side of the building. So just different ones will attach differently, but they are very functional for like, for example, let me show you, um, let's see, let's go over here to this one, Jerry. So this is a bluebird house. I love it because with, they are just so smart in how they design them. So there's a little metal switch right here and you can lay it down and easily get in there and clean out old nest. Um, so before the season, the hatchling season begins, you can go in there and easily clean them out. And if they don't have a door on the front, then they have a brass plate on the back that, or copper plate that you can um, clean out. But tons and tons of great gift ideas for the gardener in your life. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna head outdoors we're going to talk about aqua pots because we still have beautiful aqua pots that are buy one get one free now that we are here in the retail greenhouse there's a lot of things to talk about of course okay we've got some violas left over y'all it is not too late to be planting violas if you're local you can absolutely plant violas i just planted some in the cottage garden yesterday and we are still going to be planting pansies in the signature garden it is not too late I absolutely love these bright cherry faces. So if you have a container or if you have a little garden spot that you wanna add a pop of color to that will give you color throughout the entire winter, early spring season, pansies and violas are definitely for you. Um, speaking of planting, y'all, it is not too late to plant trees and shrubs. It is the perfect time to plant trees and shrubs. Of course, we just planted the signature garden with tons of things. We still have trees left to put in the ground and some hydrangeas left to put in the ground. We just, yeah, Andrew and the crew just did a massive landscape job just yesterday, put in a ton of shrubs and trees and perennials. It is absolutely go time. We have um, a great customer all the way down from the Wilmington area. So for those of you that are not familiar with North Carolina, that's literally on the other side of the state near the coast. And she has been working with CC for, oh gosh, I don't know, a month or so planning a huge garden install. So she has come up for the weekend and we're talking 
uh, shrubs and perennials and all sorts of things that she is getting to put into her yard. So it is most definitely very appropriate for us where we are in the south southeast. I would say zones seven and warmer most definitely. You can absolutely be planting and your plants will thrive when the heat hits. So anywhere from like, you know, your your uh, fire chiefs to your sprinters to these are the American pillars. If you're looking for a fast growing tree to give you privacy, that this is a great one. Um, so just know shrub wise, perennial wise, definitely is a great time to do that. And then gifts. We have a great selection, a huge selection still of the unique stone. So anywhere from something small, if you're traveling through, you want to take a Harry the Owl home, it will easily fit in your suitcase. Or if you are traveling here uh, somewhat close, I would say, right, and you have your car and you want to take a Charleston Boy or a Derby Fox, we have got great, great options for you. And these make magnificent Christmas gifts, y'all. <laughs> Christmas gifts, birthday gifts, Mother's Day, I mean, you name it. And if they're a gardener and they enjoy things, um, kind of decorating their garden with, you know, fun, whimsical things and some what we would, I would consider like a decorative hardscape, right? I mean, because it is cement. Um, and then these are great options for you, whether it is your cute little bashful Betty. So we got the bashful Bettys. This is kind of like the, the, popular side right here. The geckos, the garden geckos are so stinking cute. Easily fit in suitcases, wrap them up. And these, like you can literally pop this in your garden anywhere. Like any little small little space, you can tuck it in there. It's a fun little surprise as you're walking by and you see this sweet little gecko um, looking at you. And then Bashful Betty. Some, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, sometimes statues can be a little creepy to me because they just have weird faces. Bashful Betty, I think is a cute little thing. And then of course, Sassy Frog. Who knew that a, uh, <laughs> a concrete frog could have such personality, but it does. Now, out in the pines, we have got tons of selection of the different unique stone pieces. And when we were ordering, I made sure, like I have a bashful Betty in an ancient age, and then like right behind Jerry, there's one in a light walnut. So we made sure to order various colors of the same product because sometimes people have certain colors that they stick with and they wanna, you know, they don't wanna defer from that. So we have lots of different colors for you. We still have the, um, Aquapots sale. It is buy one, get one free. You can absolutely mix and match. It does not matter as far as like colors or designs. It is, some of them are going to be different sizes, right? So these two are considered the small aquapots. This is the small vase and the small flat rim. These are the exact same prices, so that is not a problem. This is the large flat rim, right? So it's going to be a little bit more because it's the larger. If you want to mix a small and a large, not a problem. It's just gonna be that you get the, the lesser value for free, right? And then of course we have the big mama jama right here, um, that beautiful cobalt blue with the quilted pattern on it. That too is an aqua pot. And so that too is a buy one, get one free. So if you want to get, you know, say this big flat rim and this big flat rim, you can do that, right? Just the, the lesser value is the one that you will get for free. That is in store only. We are not shipping aqua pots. Once again, in store only, not shipping aqua pots. But people have been taking advantage of this and like they are flying out of here. So if you're interested in the buy one, get one free aqua pots, this will only be good through December the 16th. Once we reopen in the spring, you'll be back to normal pricing. And um, yeah, so this is a great advantage. Just remember, keep in mind that specials have a, have a, a time period because that's why it's called a special, right? So if you're interested in the, in the aqua pot, buy one, get one free, come take advantage of it this week. This is the last week you can do it. Um, there are people traveling from all over. There are people traveling from like hours away to take advantage of this because, states yeah, states away, yeah, because where we are in North Carolina, you know, states away and you can take advantage of this. Land and Sea is still on special for $12.99. The roses are buy one, get one free, like the three gallon roses, buy one, get one free. And any other specials? I think that's about it. Just know, come see us. December the 16th is the Power Planner Workshop from 10 to 11. It is also the last day that the retail portion of the Garden Center will be open. You still have videos coming to, from us. 
five days a week. So just because the retail garden center closes does not mean we stop making videos. In fact, <laughs> winter can be one of the busiest times for us as far as projects. And um, like we just saw at the um, production greenhouse, there is tons of work still to be done. And then we have got to grow all of these beautiful babies for you. So when you come see us in February, March, April, May, blah, 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 then we have the beautiful plants for you. So we appreciate all of your love and support. Thank you for gardening with Creekside. As always, we hope you have found this fun, informative, and inspirational. We'll see you in the next video. Bye, friends.